Through this video, I am going to introduce you to Python programming language. Now this is the Spider IDE in which actually you can design your code using Python language. Now Spider stands for Scientific Python Development Environment. Now this part is the console in which you can observe your output related thing and this is the area in which you can actually design your code. Now let me maximize this console part. So let us now get familiarized with the language. Let us start with the mathematical operation. So let us see if it can perform 2 plus 3. Yes, it gives the output as 5. So it can perform addition. Now let's see if it can actually do subtraction. 5 minus 4 and the result should be 1. Let us see. Press enter and yes, it can perform subtraction. Now let us do multiplication 5 into 4 and the result should be 20 let us see yes it gives 20 now 4 divided by 2 it should be 2 and yes wow the result is 2 but it's 2.0 why? It is actually giving us the float value when you do division it might be that you will get some digits after this point say suppose we divide 6 by 4 and it's giving 1.5 so this is a float value nothing to worry about it you can get an integer value if you want but for that you have to give division symbol twice let us see yes we are getting one as output which means it is simply deleting this float value I mean uh, the value after the point now let us see if it can give us the resultant of this division I mean 6 by 4 so for that we need this modulo now this is the modulo operator I will actually zoom in and this symbol is the modulo operator which actually gives us the remainder let us see 6 modulo 4 which gives us 2 as remainder yes 6 divided by 4 and the remainder is 2 now let us see if it can simplify 2 plus 4 minus 2 plus 9 let us see you press enter and 13 yes it's 2 plus 6 2 plus 4 equals 6 minus 2 which means 4 4 plus 9 is equal to 13 so it can do simplification as well wow now let us see again this time multiplication 3 into 4 plus 2 minus 7 so let us see yes it's giving 7 3 into 4 equals 12 12 plus 2 14 14 minus oh, 14 minus 7 is equal to 7 so it's doing correct now what if I want to do 2 to the power 3 I mean uh, 2 cube or 2 square for that we have to give multiplication sign 2 times this means 2 square yes 2 square is 4 let us do us again this time 2 cube so it should give 8 yes it is giving 8 so thus you can perform many such operations like 6 to the power 9 I don't know what it would be wow 
this is brilliant so this is just how you can do various mathematical operations we will be exploring many such things in our upcoming videos we will obviously see how to deal with variables uh, that's it for today thank you